So in the previous video, we learned that y is equal to e to the x and y equals log of x are actually inverse functions of one another, i.e. they invert one another. And so, what that means is, like a function machine, so if you imagine way, way back to uh, primary school mathematics, so once upon a time you may well have had function machines, I can remember doing this at school, you gave them hands, you gave them a couple of eyes, okay, and what would happen is that you would put a number into the function machine, a process would be done upon it, so maybe something basic like plus eight, and then you would get a number out, okay? So what you can imagine is that putting a number x into e to the x performs the process, and then if you put that number back through the other way, so you reverse the process, you will arrive back at your original number. So in that case, you'd have to add 8 first of all, and then subtract 8, of course. So what happens is that going from left to right is what e to the x is doing. And then going from right to left is what log of x is doing, if you were doing it in that order. So what that means is that if you perform e to the x first, and then you log your answer, what happens is that the log and the e reverse each other, and so this is just the same as just having x. So the log and the e effectively cancel each other out. And you can do it around the other way. You could perform log x first, going from left to right, and then perform e to the x. So you'd add e to the log x, and that would be the same as just performing x. So in this way, you can see that the e and the log cancel each other out. Now, you've got to be careful with this, because this can lead some people to the assumption that, um, for example, if you had e to the 3 log x, for example, then what that would mean is some people would write that down as just... Okay, But what you've got to understand is that we have to have the e and the log effectively next to each other. So we're going to perform the log law first. So just ignore the e and have 3 log x. So this is the same as e to the log of x cubed. And now that the e and the log are next to each other, this would just be x cubed. So that is how we can do this. So make sure you spot any log laws that can happen. And the only way that the log and the e can cancel each other out and invert one another is if they are directly next to each other. Okay? In layman's terms.